Welcome to this high-spec systems video tutorial. This video is a guide for the element check calibration. The goal for this calibration is to check the probe for any missing or dead elements and to balance the signal response across all the elements. The equipment needed for this calibration is a high-spec systems phased array instrument with UltraView software installed, a phased array probe without the wedge connected, and a calibration block we will be using the iPro phased array system for this calibration. Okay, so let's go into the element check calibration menu. Step one would be to set the block thickness. Our block is at 25 millimeters. Step two would be to set the pass fail range. The pass-fail range is the maximum signal variation allowed from each element. For the calibration to pass the element check, each element must be within the pass-fail range. You are able to adjust the range accordingly to your standards. We have set the range to be plus or minus 6 dB. Step 3 would be to adjust the gain. So the maximum signal from the element envelope is at 80%. You are able to press auto set signals to 80% and you can see the signals across all the elements have been increased and the maximum signal on element number 55 is at 80%. Step 4 would be to adjust the gate so it encompasses the back wall of the test block. You can see in the top A scan window that is fine. Step five would be to reset the envelope in preparation for the actual calibration. Step six would be to build up the envelope by slightly moving the probe back and forward. You may have to press a little bit down on the probe to make sure all the signals are at their peak response. Step seven would be to hit calibrate you can now see all the elements have balanced and have passed the element check. You can see in the top left corner of this window that the plus or minus dB range was 0.3 dB and it has passed the check. Also, if we look in the top bar, the E flag has come on.